day 120. Happy 4th of July. <coughs> We're kicking it here at, I don't even know where I am, um, South Mountain Motel, Hotel. Hotel, Motel. Holiday in Say What? Uh, it's only six miles to the next place we're headed, but all that is is uh, Dollar General. We're hoping to maybe find some sort of festivities for this day, but we're headed into a small town, Lafayette, maybe, I think it's called. I don't know, something tiny. Um, and see, maybe they'll have festivities. If they do, we'll hang out, but if not, I guess we'll keep walking. Let's, let's see what the day holds. I'll see you out there. So since all of us took different ways in, some of us yellow blazed, <laughs> um, I am leading them on the way out through the college again. Oh, yeah, it is a creepy Catholic school. Thank you for the correction. Um, it is. It's got to be a creepy Catholic school. It's got weird vibes going on, man. But there's nothing saying I'm not allowed to be here. It just looks like you're not allowed to be here. I go where I want. Pass back by the creepy school with the huge birds on top. It hurts. And it's super creepy. This gate will stop anybody from getting in. Look at the size of this building just monstrous. What really goes down here? How many people work in or live here? Oh, we have arrived just in time for a decent climb, then a ridge walk, and then we get dumped off into, I want to call it Lafayette, but that might not be the name of the town. this Decently overcast day. I still see blue all over the place though. Hard to tell what the weather holds for you out here because you can't see very far. But nothing makes me think it's going to rain anytime soon at least. How inconvenient would it be to rain on the 4th of July, you know, of all days. But I imagine even if it does, it won't be short, it won't be long lived. It would be nice to find myself on a bald somewhere watching fireworks from a few different towns. are hard to come by out here. Trees on trees on trees.
I was able to get all my batteries charged last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and went and switched things out. I have more battery power than ever because Wing It got a bunch of smaller batteries and he had this 20,000 brick he's been carrying around. And he's like, you want it? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, reluctantly, I do want more power, but damn, it's a big battery. So now I'm carrying around two 20,000s and the 6,000 that Richard gave me. <clears throat> but everything is full. So, yeah, I'll use those two back and forth. You know, try to keep them pretty even so that when I go into a place, I can plug them both in and essentially charge twice as fast. But I got, I got pretty much everything. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to plug in, so I didn't do headphones and things like that. But I barely ever use those. That's what I was worried was going to slow us down in this town we're headed to. It doesn't look like there's much there. I don't want to be sitting somewhere for six, eight hours charging. We all know I'll do it. If I need the power. But I prefer to have multiple things to do. You know, power and Wi-Fi so I can upload at the same time. But you got to take power where you can get it. A shelter I will never ever see. Point three off. No, thank you. And straight downhill as well. I am pretty far ahead of the group. It seems like a great place as any to take a safety break. Okay, took a nice break. Everybody caught up. It's like two and a half miles into town and mostly downhill. But yeah, downhill's a relative term. Yes, it's down. Ooh, doesn't mean it's any easier. Especially when you're wearing somebody else's ultras that are slightly too small for you. But they don't hurt as bad as I remember all the ultras hurting. First six miles of the day aren't horrible. But they've just got no protection from the rocks underneath. Maybe I'll buy some insoles or something because the things in these are like wafer thin.
So I got, I got this middle-aged dude in front of me who has like bad ankles. He, he's wearing like wraps and shit and he's complaining his knees hurt on the downhills. And he has this tool that he actually carries around that could help him with those problems. But instead of using said tools, he wears them as decorations upon his back. I was pushing real hard, and then this came around the corner. Just passed a buttload of people running up the hill. Not much of a runner. But by how much energy they have, it makes me think I am pretty close to the parking lot. I'd guess less than a mile by the way they looked. Let's look it up and see. Even closer, I thought we're only 0.2 away from the parking lot. They looked a little more tired than 0.2. But good for them for being out here running up some hills. I smell smoke. Whoa! Shots. Random article of clothing. Yeah, there's a fire around here somewhere. Well, it looks like about two and a half miles or so to the Dollar General. That's a hitching distance. I don't see anywhere to stand that isn't in the sun. Maybe way down there. Barely on the side of the road, maybe five minutes tops. Not even Heather comes along and picks us up. Heather. Um, she drives us instead of to the Dollar General. She's taking us all the way to the Walmart. We had to stop by the vape shop because somebody needed some nicotine. Um, and then she said she'd just hang out and wait for us to do our thing because she's like, hey, do you want to go Walmart? And I was like, I don't know. How hard is it to get back? And she's like, no, I'll just wait for you. You know, like, what? So very awesome that uh, makes our day a hell of a lot easier thank you heather so heather got us back to the trailhead in record time we're actually not sure where the trail is i think it's down this way just a bit but it might be up that way i see a sign somewhere around here okay we have found the trail we still have to allot our food we're carrying bags and stuffed our bags just randomly we didn't want to do it here on the side of the road I did buy some insoles for my shoes. Not exactly what I was looking for, but 
not having real scissors on me, I couldn't buy the ones you have to cut to size. So I bought some pre-sized ones that just do the heel and underneath the foot, the arch and such. So hopefully they'll be enough. They'll be better than what I got in now. Hey, we've made it to the public pool. We gotta get rid of a little bit of garbage, fill up our water. There's people everywhere because it's 4th of July. Quick in and out. People. Oh, a rare mythical beast. No, then, whatever. Had I not just eaten and wearing tiny underwear, this would be a great yogi opportunity. Tons of families out here eating. Oh, there's even some Amish people over here. Or they're dressed like a little house on the prairie. I just always assume it's Amish. But it can be a few things. Clunkiest sex swing I ever did see. Most difficult. Ooh. And there are some pretty big stairs, though. So. We don't have a whole lot of uphill, but all of it is happening at once. I can see this rocky path snaking up this hill. The air is muggy and stagnant. Now that it is the impression that a storm will be happening later. Sirens like that generally aren't a good sign. But only hearing two in a row is not a bad sign. If we kept going, I'd be a bit concerned. It is so hot and humid. If you look, the rocks are actually sweating. It's not like it's rained or anything. It's just everything is wet. I hear the wind moving a little bit up there, though. Oh, I see clouds coming in. A storm is coming. And there happens to be a really nice shelter coming up. At least, so comments say, the nicest. What happened? 
in there. Been a while since we've been in the rhododendrons. They really give it the green tunnel effect. Oh, I remember this. This is where I met General Hendricks for the first time. Well, I didn't meet him. I encountered him. I heard him while I was sleeping. Hmm. What time? Let's see. It says it's before one, right? Yeah. And it is currently 1.15. Eh, it's not bad. You need to recalibrate your sundial there. All right, so there is camping around here. That's where I went last time. Got a nice little place to cook. You get two separate shelters with like lacquered floors. Right, it's just fancy. Sleeps too comfortably. Three if you're real friendly. Same difference. Boom. It's tent sites on trailer hitches. Tent tie down. Pull out, push in. Hmm. I don't get it. Cook up here. No one's coming out of the woodwork. Nice place. This is how a water source should be. We got little flowers blooming. Look how crystal clear that is. Sure, it isn't flowing, but you know, it's there. There was a nice couple that showed up and gave us trail magic. They had little pre-made bags that they gave out to all the hikers. Looking at the map, in exactly five miles is a cabin. And that happens to be where Frog Legs stashed me a little package. So we have to go there anyway. But we're gonna check out their porch. It's the 4th of July, so there's a good chance the cabin will be rented out. But if not, I might just have to hang out on their porch for the night. There is a possibility of storms. And a porch sounds safe. My insoles feel a bit better. They're not great, but they're better. This is some pretty simple terrain. I still have four miles left to go, but only like 350 up over it, and maybe 500 down. We'll call that flat.
Oh, almost went down. Ah, oh, possibility of a storm. Well, that sound means we need to put our clothes back on. Don't know how long it'll last, but probably not long. We're only a mile and a half away from that porch. Hopefully it's not occupied. I was kind of going fast and left 12 in the dust, so I'm just going to kick it here and wait for her and continue on to the cabin. She's generally no more than a couple of minutes behind me. Aww. I changed my mind. I'm, I'm going to ride it out in here. It got kind of rough. Keeping an eye out for 12. I put my sticks on the trail, so even if she's looking down, which you often do in a rainstorm, she'll notice those, but I can see the trail going by right here, so all should be well. I hope she shows up soon, or she has a good place to hide. Oh, it's getting worse. Keep hoping she'll come around the corner any second, but it's been a few minutes. So I'm assuming she's hiding somewhere. I have service, and the weather app says it's not supposed to last more than an hour. Oh, hey, babe. Come on in. All right, it seems we lived. I see blue skies again. All right, Camp Crawler to the rescue. Looks like I might have pulled Camp Crawler down prematurely. It is getting darker again. <clears throat> A few loud booms. But I'm going for it nonetheless. Just a mile and a half to the porch. And if people are staying there, we'll hang out for a bit right out of storm. And then there's a campsite another like, I don't know, 0.3 or 4 up the way. I haven't heard thunder in a while. There's a nice breeze. It's definitely cooler than it was. Oh, blue skies all around. Oh. Except in that direction, but I'm pretty sure those are moving away. That was great. A little afternoon storm. Came down pretty hard there for a minute, though. I'm wrinkly. In a half mile, I will make a rendezvous with my package. This is exciting stuff. And it's all downhill to it. Now, hopefully nobody's renting out that cabin for the fourth. And we can just have it. Okay, we have made it here. I'm not sure where the privy is. But we do have moving water. Where would the privy be? Privy. I go up the hill. Ta da! Awesome. It's heavy. Thanks, frog legs. 
Let's see what we got. Okay, Frog Legs has hooked us up. We got the good coffee going on. The Starbucks mocha is my favorite powdered milk. Zagnuts, I have not had those in forever. Although they are great because I'm, I'm a big fan of coconut. Um, we got the scrunchers. She actually always sends those. It, it, it is its own cup. I quite often mix those with vodka. We got some sour crawler bites. We got a little spam because who doesn't like spam? And the mixin', mixins for lunch. And of course, your friend and mine, safety supplies. Oh, and another, this one, I killed it. I don't remember which trail she sent this to me on. Was that the CDT or was that this year? I don't know, but it was this year, wasn't it? But it died in the rainstorm, so they didn't make them to be waterproof. But I just like stuff that lights up. I'm a fan. Okay, this is Camp Crawler for the evening. We've taken over this porch. Twelve already died. Man. Not bad. We have our stuff hanging everywhere, as usual. This green tarp makes us invisible for people driving by because the road is right there. 